Where are we at this morning? Uh, Bushnell, Florida. Warm Florida. It's oh, a little, a little foggy. Warm. <laughs> Warmer than home. We got it. First special guest of many this next coming couple weeks. That's right. I got tagged in. Got today. tagged in. We're down here in Bushnell, Florida at the uh, line auction. Jack Line runs the show here. What uh, What are we looking for? Uh, I'm Teramite. Teramite. We're going to take you guys around today, just kind of a prelim preliminary drive through. We might uh, get the drone up in the air and give this as a huge sale. Are we going to write notes today? Not today. Okay. Huh? It's Sunday. Yeah. we got to go find our campground yet, so we're going to take you guys along and just do a drive through. I always like to do a drive through, preliminary drive through, check, see what everything's in just here. Just get a vibe. Get a the, vibe for the auction, so we're going to check everything out. Looks like he's got a lot of stuff, so we're going to take you guys along, drive up and down these aisles. If you uh, see something you might like, you can give us a shout out. I'm going to try to get these videos out uh, like the next day or two, so you guys will be seeing pretty much live updates. But this auction starts, well, it actually started yesterday. Uh, what's tomorrow? Um, the 6th. The 6th, so the 6th, it's like a 10 day sale, but uh, from Starting February 6th of 23 here, they'll run uh, all week long and into next weekend at this sale. Um, I think tomorrow is man lifts and everything, and then Tuesday is farm tractors and trenchers, and Wednesday I believe is, what's Wednesday? I don't know if that's those years. Rubber tarred skid steers, maybe wheel loaders and rollers. Oh, it tells us right here. Yep. Day. Friday, it's Thursday. Thursday is right here. Oh. Rubber tire motors, backhoes, scrapers, water trucks. I know Friday. Friday's a big day. You got the, all the excavators and uh, dozers, all the cool stuff. Sunday would be all the trucks and stuff like that. So you can check them out. I'll put a link to their auction. It's a line auction. There's a brochure. So. Oh, I know of another request we had. What's that? A PC-101, is that right? A PC-01 PC for Kevin? Uh, no, it was an anonymous... Uh, no, I know who that is. <laughs> I'm not stupid. It was an anonymous uh, customer request. A whole bunch of haul trucks. It's a little foggy down here, but at least it's not cold and snowy. No flurries. No flurries today. No ice. I've seen some bulldozers over here. It's like you smell them out. That's right. So you guys have to stick along. I got uh, once, maybe one special guest later on this week. I'll probably do another video at this auction, inspecting some stuff. If you guys got any questions, you want to see anything, or something looked at, or how to, hit me up in the comments down below. We could have come in here and camp last night. Uh, number system on the cat dozers I'll have to go over that I had used to have three d6s but I might do that in the next video so they started out with d1 now so here's a d3 that's d3? actually the old d5 size and look at the tinted windows that's, short. that's a so they had three legit. d6 models and it confused everybody so they went back and started at d1 and all the way up yeah but I may explain that in a future video here so We'll be watching. That's right. All this stuff looks new. It is not. It's just got a paint job on it. I'm sure it looked uh, pretty rough before it got painted. They sell a lot of new stuff here every day. New, new tools, new toys, bouncy houses. Is there any patio furniture? No patio furniture, guaranteed. This is the right site. Right on uh, 
I-75 in Bushnell, Florida, I think. Got some big boom lifts and 125 footers. You want to know a story last year? We're ready. I got one of these brand new 125 footers. I had a new GoPro 10. I boom all the way up in the air, like 100 foot up. And I do my little intro. I come back down in my camera. I didn't. Um, oh, you hadn't taped it. Well, the SD card it's got cool. corrupted and it raced all of it. Oh. I wasn't about to go back up again. Oh, man. That would have been a quality video. A couple of these. Yeah. yeah. A couple of these a year. Kevin's still got one that's all painted up. He eats yeah. all the time. Jump over and look at the farm tractors. John Deere green tractors. I believe these sell when Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Tuesday. see some, uh, some of these are imported, I'd see some European labels on those. Something you gotta watch about some of this equipment. You can see some skid steers over here we may need to go look at. So I Jack, a 333 down there. Jack's real good about um, scattering stuff out. Even though they pretty much just sell track skid steers in one day, he'll throw some in every day just to keep everybody like me coming to the sale. Yeah. He'll throw in a few excavators every day and skid steers, maybe a couple dozers. Which is smart on his part, I guess. Yeah, 4,000 hours, that's too many. 1,800. In the next video, I'll get in a little more in depth on skid steers. Um, especially these newer ones, why I don't like to buy them with over a couple thousand hours on them. Trains from United Rentals. Look at that Kubota. I know a guy that wants one of those. Got some forklifts. Oh, I see some old tailors up here. That looks like a good paint job. Is that right? Is that's, that... a, that's a paint job. That's an oldie. I yeah, got the boom back on that one. It was laid forward for transport. Yeah, it should be laying forward. We might have to check those out. Runs and moves, no brakes. Runs <laughs> moves, doesn't stop. You sure look like nicer cranes than I got. See how he's got, there's a few excavators here, scattered in with the backhoes that sell on. That's what he does. Those big dudes over there, 375s. That's big money right there. Not, not my favorite, bro. Oh, yeah. Another thing about Florida, you guys notice all these backhoes that have no cabs on them, which is really hard to sell in our neck of the woods. Backhoes, like period, are getting hard to sell. They're not as popular. Probably sit on our lot the longest, don't they? Yeah, but if you're gonna have one piece of equipment, in my book, they're the thing to have. I can do it all. They're good with wrecking balls too. We used that one we had quite a bit. So I bought one down here at this sale last year, and we just sold it what just, a month it ago. It was the only thing left. So uh, yeah, I've had it for like 10 or 11 months, which is very unusual. You guys probably seen it in some videos us doing some stuff with it. So. There's didn't actually even have a people uh, asking about it, didn't you? Yeah, no uh, YouTube viewer come bought it, right? Pretty sure. Thank you, YouTube viewers. Yeah. Some little Kubota B B series. We sell a lot of these things. He yeah, just got stuff scattered everywhere. It, it makes a guy he has to come to the freaking sale every day. Good strategy. Yeah. 
Look at all these B26s. These are almost getting to be down to my size. We sell a bunch of these. Yeah, you do. These look a you little rough. To. I just sold one. Very good, then. Quick. Last week. It's like some ham rulers. It's $1,900. They've been painted up. You know, four wheel drive Ford water truck. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Oh, the old Mac Superliner. With like the grill of scary, right scary here. grill. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with me. There's a couple buckets. Look at all the excavators over there. Look at all the motor graders. Would you just look at it? Would you? I mean, the excitement level on this side of the golf cart is over the top. I can tell you're having a great time. I I'm bet. just going cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. I bet you're not going to come with me. Oh, I am. Oh. I am making an appearance. The only thing they're selling today is some small stuff online only, so there's no auctioneer here today. The Bell Hall trucks. Did you know um, Bell and John Deere, or Bell makes John Deere Hall trucks? Yeah, I They may have split off. I'd have to check that. If you look, they're very similar. Here's the John Deere one. Compared to those bells back here. This is um, what we've um, been on for. Dirt perfect last year. Yeah, but these are like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars truck. Yeah, Volvo man. It's bulldozers. Oh. So we throw some more tractors in here with the haul trucks. These really scattered this year. Oh, there's a seven hundred H. I know you like your seven hundred. We do like seven hundreds. That one kind of looks like it might be hooked. So it looks good from here because it's got yellow paint, but I can already tell that. It's a little rough. You usually do J's though, don't you? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one's uh, been through the ringer. They must have a tucker decal. Ooh, look at that front blade. Pretty new Komatsu dozers. They got like plastic on the seats. Yeah, those look like they are new. TD10, 570 grader. Oh, you know what I spotted over there? What's that? Uh, 35B. Do you know what the Hitachis and John Deere have in common? No, I don't. Hitachis made the John Deere excavators for years. Even though they split off last year about this time, they're still making them for the salesman I talked to a couple days ago. So. Now, Hitachi and John Deere went in in the early 80s. Joint effort. Just smart on John Deere's part because they get all the Japanese technologies. What's that thing? What's that going to It's do? a big old trencher, bucket. Bucket trencher. Where are all these little things on the... And those are the teeth for it. It's got a big wheel. Digs around and it's got a conveyor belt which is not on there and it kicks the dirt out each side. That's a big... That's like four foot wide. That is mega. It's crazy. Look what they were trying to dig it right there. I bet that thing's uh, thousands of horsepower. That's a bucket wheel trencher. See? It kicks it out here. That's an expensive piece, I can tell you that. That's expensive. Is that fresh paint too? It looks like fresh decals. No, it? it's just not been used very much. Not very much at all. It's hard telling what that thing cost. All right, we're in the 130 size excavators. We've got some sandy sitting here too. A lot of cats. All painted up, that one's got 3,000 hours. Day. So they just let you hop on these and 
turn them on and operate them. You want to dig some holes? No. You can be like dirt perfect here. Tell everybody how you like your 210 Hyundai. That's my pros and cons. We need to get Kevin down here to imitate him. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. All I need is a can of Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Kevin a can of Pepsi and he'll get on one of these Hondas. Brand new ones. Mike's looking for a uh, dump truck too. We gotta look for dump trucks. I thought you had Bubba dump. Uh, on road dump truck. Daywoos, Takahoochies. Is that what Latina Dan's gonna be? If he, gets, if he finishes it? Yeah, that's right, if he finishes it. But he'll bring up your camper, so. Why would you say that? <laughs> Here's John Deere Dozers, you're not even looking. Oh, I know. No, I got rough. reeled in. Got a lot of paint. There. Quite a bit of equipment here this year. That's good. 160 case with the tongue. That's a big dude. Big old bucket. Yeah. Big dude. Hey, look, there's an Argo. There is an Argo. We used, Argo. we used to sell Argos. We were a dealer for them. Oh, there's a cool looking international truck over here. We'll check that stuff out in a second. J, 650Ks, kitty cat's all painted up, old D7F, you can get one of these big Hitachis to bring home, he'd like that. John Deere 160. What can we do with it? And then maybe I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, maybe your project you want to do at home. Okay. Then it I might be interesting. <laughs> so this is the first of, what, four sales down here? Four. We're going to be going to all of them, so. 
So first one's Jack Lines, and we got uh, next week to be Jeff Martins and Yoder and Prize and then Richie Brothers after that. So. I think Dirt Perfect and Let's Dig's coming down this coming weekend. They'll be be at those auctions, but we do have one special guest. Between then. Between then, yeah. that may be at the auction here. On the here. edge of your seat. You guys can guess. Yeah, it's special. worth it. If it's you, a good one. If you can guess who that special guest might be, drop it in the comments below. I may give you a hint already. Oh, huh. A couple jet skis. So yeah, we used to sell these Argos. We sold a bunch of them. There just wasn't a lot of profit in them, so we kind of shied away from them. Check out this old international truck. Hey, this one comes with a spare motor right here. You got a on the back? Yeah, look at that. Big old winch on it. I what kind of car this is. Studebaker, those are made close to home. Yeah. Yeah. Needs the restoration. Got some of these big Chevy dumpster trucks. Don't these look like a dumpster? <laughs> Coming down the road at you? Yeah. I, I think they're see ugly. Any sprinter vans or oh. Ford Transits. We'll drive over and look through the dump trucks for somebody special. Oh, here's Uncle Scott's row attachment. Attachment City. I think he's all set at the end of the week. A new dump truck. Some Max. Dirt Perfect's looking for like a 90 to 01. He's pretty picky. What brand is he? He's wanting a Max. He used to work at Mac Mueller. Probably wants a green too. Buckets for days. What was Uncle Scott saying that we were getting low on? Good on bush hogs. Grapple buckets. A lot of times I buy them factory direct, but sometimes I can buy them cheaper at the auctions. And sometimes they send down brand new ones too. Oh, yeah. These look all good. I mean, you'll have to go check those out later. I'm not going to bore the people with those. Cat truck, those things flop. See any? Uh, they don't have a lot of trucks, do they? They don't have a DP special. That's uh, not looking good. Not at this sale. They just are semi tractors here. Tired, rubber tired. Or not really Track speed steers. No, I don't see very many rain lifts down here this year. A lot of backhoes. Some more track skid steers. This is day four. This would actually be Tuesday, is that right? I may have to come here Tuesday. I'm going to have to look at that. Tuesday. Chippers, dump grinders, attach, uh, agricultural attachments, air compressors. I think this stuff's day five over here. Day four, yeah, this is day four. Fences, gates. Oh, oh, there's a little Kevin excavator over there. A few boom lifts, not a lot. Man, it's man lifts. Somebody's murdered that one all out. New Delta trailers. Oh, dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. Made in China. Mobile toilet. Little More trenchers. That stuff's probably selling today, maybe. Is that the online stuff? Containers like we got at the shop. Oh, here's some bouncy houses ready to be blown up. I'll blow those up the day of the sale. I don't know why they sell bouncy houses, but he does. Man, he got a lot of bobcats. Just 
not a new fan or a fan of the new Bobcats. They're just not built the same in my opinion once Doosan got them. They're not like the old T300s and 180s. Is that like the one that is up the shop? Yeah. Well, that series is not too bad. This series here, but the uh, new series, once Doosan got them, you can tell they're a little different, a little cheaper in my opinion. Takahuchi makes a good skid steer. Cat makes a good one. They are a pain in the butt to work on, in my opinion, and they're expensive. Hey, there's a golf cart in our color. A blue, that's a six seater. Hey, now. There you go. They'll bring a lot more stuff. See all these empty holes? Like this that. will all be filled up with stuff. I think we've about seen everything, haven't we? It's like not super exciting. Believe it or not, this sale used to be way bigger than this. Stuff's really slowed down over the last few years. Oh, there's like a camouflage. Generator. Service beds. Rusty Bobcat. A few more lifts down here. Yeah, I was saying this sale used to be probably a third again bigger than this. It's like everything. They've all... Ooh, look at this dude. Oh. <laughs> That's been in the fly ash. Yeah, all the sales have been down, but... I'm seeing the uh, telehandlers are way down in numbers. The boom lifts, there's not... Uh, I mean, I've come down here and you'll have hundreds of boom lifts, but... Totally different this year. Well, that's going to be a wrap for us. We're going to head down to our campground and get set up. I will be down here three or four days this week. If uh, You guys just have to send me an email or drop a... Uh, send us a thing on Facebook, Instagram, or something like that. I see all that. If you want to know what days um, might be here, um, just hit me up. Be driving the old camouflage. Golf cart's kind of hard to miss. The oldie but goodie. But uh, we'll have some stickers and stuff down there, and maybe a couple hats hanging out. But we'll be at all the sales. Um, like I say, Dirt Perfect Let's Dig will be at them. I will have another video of this, doing some inspections on some equipment. Um, you guys got anything you want to see or something about some particular piece or something? Drop a comment below, and uh, what else? Uh, no, just, the, just keep in mind the Teramite and the PC. I didn't see any. I didn't either. I didn't. I didn't either. But Don't. just keep it on your radar. International. Good truck. I'm getting, the subject. I'm getting distracted. Sorry. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give us a big thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. And we can keep on doing these dudes for you. Um, I'm going to try to keep them current. And uh, if you don't want to miss out on the rest of the auction videos coming out, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I'm going to try to pop these up. Usually we have videos every Tuesday and Friday at 3. These may be a little more sporadic here for the next couple, two or three weeks. So, and then we'll get back to our regular videos because I know how much you guys like auction videos. So. All right, you can check out some more drone footage here of us flying over. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye, friends.